Kia ora, hello, my name is Morgan Marion. I am a science communicator at Canterbury Museum and I'm also an entomologist, somebody that works on insects. My research focuses on camouflage in our New Zealand stick insects. I'm also the outreach officer for the Entomology Society of New Zealand. And finally, I'm also um, the presenter of the children's TV show Bug Hunter, which is on TVNZ On Demand. So you want to learn a little bit more about insects. Well, first of all, what are insects? Insects have been on Earth for at least 300 million years. They've outlasted the dinosaurs and many other species which have now gone extinct. They are one of the most successful life forms on Earth and there are more types of insects than anything else. Insects are invertebrates, which means that they have no backbone. They also belong to a special group called Arthropoda. The characteristics of Arthropoda is that they've got a hard external skeleton, kind of like a suit of armor called an exoskeleton. They've got segmented body parts and they've got at least three pairs of jointed legs. But within Arthropoda, you've got subgroups and these include the crustaceans, the arachnids, the myriapods, and lastly, the insects. We can distinguish insects from these other groups by a number of characteristics. All insects have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They've got two antennae on their head. They've got a pair of compound eyes. They've got three pairs of legs, so six legs in total, and some of them have wings. How do insects breathe? Well, just like us humans, they need oxygen to breathe. But unlike us and other animals, they don't have lungs. Instead, they've got holes on the sides of their body called spiracles through which the air comes in. These spiracles lead to a tiny network of tubes called tracheae. These tracheae lead to the tissues within the insect's bodies and bathe those tissues in oxygen. Think of it like a sponge. Insects are amazing and they've got a whole lot of adaptations which allow them to escape predators and to survive in extreme environments. And that is what has made them so successful. Let me show you a few of our New Zealand insects so you can see for yourself the diversity in shapes, sizes and colours. This is a copper butterfly, one of our native butterflies. These are mayflies, they don't live very long. This is a Dobson fly larvae. They kind of look like centipedes, but live underwater. This is a paper wasp, so called because their nests look like they're made out of paper. This is a red damselfly. These are mountain stone wetter. They can freeze solid and come back to life. This is a puddity moth, one of our biggest native moth. This is a monarch butterfly. Its bright orange wings is there as warning coloration. These are shield bugs, also known as stink bugs, because they stink when they're squashed. These are cicadas. You may know them from their charismatic summer sounds. This is an Auckland tree wetter. Its back legs are up in a defensive position. This is a dung beetle, introduced to help deal with farm animal dung. This is a giraffe weevil. Although it's called a giraffe weevil, it's actually got a really long nose, not a neck. This is a drone fly. They're very good pollinators. This is a New Zealand giant stick insect, one of our longest insects in New Zealand. This is a katydid. It's got amazing camouflage mimicking a leaf. This is a mumu chafer. What amazing green iridescent color. This is a four-spine weevil, so-called for the spines on its back. This is a praying mantis. It's laying an ufiki, also called an egg case, which is a white foamy stuff. 
it's full of eggs. This is a Kanuka longhorn, a type of beetle. And this is a cave wetter. It's got huge back legs to help mate guarding the females. This is a cicada molting into the adult cicada. These are other types of stick insects, all different species. I hope you've had fun and learnt a little bit. Feel free to reach out if you've got any other questions. Kakite!